Colorado Center for the Blind. Take charge with confidence and self-reliance. What kind of bit you got to use on that? Uh, metal bit. It's, uh, it's just a drill bit, but it drills to metal and wood. Oh, really? Yeah. They have these things called a unibit, and they, uh, those things can tear through anything. We used to use them all the time in electrical work. Mm. Yeah, they'll, they'll go through anything in a heartbeat. They can go from like a eighth of an inch up to three quarters. It's it's a cone shape, and so every time the notch hits, you know you've got an eighth of an inch. Oh. Uh, pretty nice. Yeah. I made a speed bag here because I enjoy beating on it. It's kind of therapeutic to me, and it's a good workout, good conditioning workout. Well, our student Marcus made this speed bag here, and I personally would like to thank him because, you know, one of the things we try to promote here at the center is physical fitness and activity, and uh, I think boxing is a fun way to do that. So, Marcus, great job, and uh, best of luck, man. All right, now we're going to try really hard here. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I think some of those uh, boxing bags are like long cylinders. Yeah, this uh, one's this one's like they call it a speed bag, and it's, it's to like make your fist go really fat. Thank you to Marcus um, for putting this project together, and that we'll have this at the center for a long time. Let's see if I can figure out how to use it. I feel like a cat. <laughs> Nice. Hey Marcus, uh, you know, pretty solid construction there and uh, you know, I will probably be using this a lot in uh, the few months to come. So, thanks a lot man. Hey Marcus, thanks for the speed bag, I mean, it's fun working out on that thing. It's the first time I've used it, but it's a great contribution to the center and just like you are and you know, looking forward to using it and it's faster than my old bag. I don't know how Mark says it that fast. I think you did a great job with this. I love how it looks. I love how fast it is. I think it's amazing that he's able to do this without being able to see anything. I think he did everything perfect. I think it's perfect, Donna. All the swivel and all that. Well, for this, Marcus <laughs> built this. We get a little aggression out during the day. It's a good workout. It's a uh, good hand-eye coordination without the eyes, so that's pretty perfect. Hey Marvin, it's Chris. So this is really awesome. I'm definitely going to come in here and use it to take out some stress. And I really like being able to hit something and call it chargers. That really <laughs> works for me. Oh yeah, what do you think about that, James? I like that, man. Marcus did a real good job on that. He had to do some extra dimensions after he made the first prototype. And then he went back and put a bigger piece of wood on the bottom so that the uh, bag wouldn't hit no corners or bust. 
He did a very good job on this. I was in class with him while he did So thank you, Marcus, so much for, it's gonna be really cool to come in here and to get some stress off during lunchtime. There you go. Oh, Kiara Davis. <laughs> Supposed to get this thing going like this. Like, a, like Rocky used to do in the movies, right? That's what I've got to do. Oh. <laughs> Good sequence. <laughs> got a couple little sequences there. All right. We've been able to do this for a long time. I love this thing. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, Marcus! I love this baby. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it, man. To learn more about the Colorado Center for the Blind, visit our website at www.cocenter.org or call 303-778-1130.